Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be talking about placeholder colors and uh, basically define a custom color uh, for the placeholder. So notice uh, that in the last video, um, I don't know if you have seen it, like, uh, and if not, then I would encourage you to go back where we actually set the foreground color, or I can tell you really quickly that when you set the foreground color for text field, it does not um, update the color for your um for your placeholder so placeholder color stays uh, gray as it comes out of the box so um there is no way right now like i mean there's no built-in way for us to change the uh, foreground color for the placeholder text that is not customizable at this point so in order to uh, customize your placeholder text we'll have to come up with our own solution so what we can do is we can put a custom control together with the help of z stack and observe the value in the binding variable so if the binding variable um, is empty then we will display the text view otherwise we are uh, going to display the text field so we're going to have like you know z stack in the text view and text field uh, on like you know um, on the same bounds and then when the when the text is empty we're going to display the text um view okay and as soon as user starts typing and there's some value we're gonna start displaying text field okay so let's see how that actually looks so i'm gonna go back and for these examples i'm gonna do the background color just to leave the um the code for documentation and uh, i'm gonna copy this ninth example and paste it and change it to example 10 and uh, I'm also going to remove these background and foreground colors okay all right so with that change let me go ahead and go to the top and basically call example 10 so that actually is displayed inside our preview okay and uh let me go ahead and resume the preview and uh there we go so our preview is running it's gonna render in a minute there we go okay so now like i said when we need to actually uh, build out our own custom example what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this uh, text field with a z stack so let me show you what i'm talking about so we're gonna simply create a z stack and it's gonna have an alignment alignment is gonna be leading okay and inside this uh, z stack we're gonna say if the title is empty okay so that means nothing has been typed in the title then we want to display text view okay and uh, we're gonna call course title here this is basically just our um, our placeholder text that's what it's gonna uh, basically act as and in order to make it look more like um, uh, more like uh, this uh, placeholder text we're gonna provide some opacity but we're gonna customize the color so let's say I'm gonna say it's gonna be color dot purple dot opacity 0 0.3 like that okay so it's basically gonna make it um, uh, 0 0.3 opacity in bold is not needed so i'm going to actually remove the bold color okay and that is now customized to um, make our text look like like placeholder look like you know it's being applied that foreground color okay now if the text if that is uh, like you know the case then we're going to display the text but if the text field is uh, if title is not empty uh, we are going to be executing this regardless so remember there is no else okay so this is just if uh, for the title to show up um, and then we're gonna leave empty uh, string for our placeholder text inside the text field and we're gonna simply have a text dollar title okay so that is going to uh, get our um, 
text fill in place we're gonna add some padding in the horizontal direction we're gonna add some 10 points of padding and in the vertical direction we're gonna add four points of padding and we're gonna add have an overlay and this overlay is gonna be of uh, rounded rectangle with corner radius of about 20 points and let's use uh, let's stroke this uh, with a color so let's add a stroke with a color dot purple to match the color of the of the um, the foreground color for the placeholder text and uh, we're gonna have a line width of one point so there we go we have our uh, text field or custom text field which has a custom uh, placeholder text and as soon as you type you can like you know, click on it you can start typing in it okay so that's how uh, basically uh, you can create your own custom uh, text field now let me go ahead and run this okay so this is how our view is gonna look like and uh, in order to make all of these I'm gonna actually just copy this and uh, I'm gonna put it right here and uh, cut this Okay, and uh, this is gonna be category. Category is empty. So that's gonna be our category. And um, let's give it a, a different color, maybe orange. Okay, and um, then let's do the third one as well just for the completeness of this so it's gonna be title category and this is gonna be the type okay I'm gonna remove this and uh, go ahead and copy this and what you can do uh, just as an optimization suggestion you can actually convert this into a custom view okay and uh, you can use that custom view to uh, basically uh, yeah to basically um, uh, render the text field so you can have like you know your own custom text field um, view okay uh, so I'm gonna just finish it off really quickly and there we go so that's our that's our type um, so type type okay cool Right. so so there we go we have that and let me go ahead and run this and um, now you can see uh, we have our custom uh, text fields uh, that are being typed uh, that are being used so if you take out the text in here uh, you're gonna see like you know our placeholder is actually of custom color so I'm going to change this one to pink just to match just to have like you know different variation for that and um, let's see all right there's one more modification I want to make is like you know these uh, look very small and very squished in so I'm gonna add uh, one more padding and this is gonna be padding for 10 points to all of these okay once again uh, you can optimize this by extracting this into a custom view and then you can see it but uh, I mean then you can use it uh, but uh, for this demo how to uh, change these things I'm gonna just uh, leave it as is and there we go we have like you know a little bit better breathing room so uh, so do I in depth course category UI and course type um, 
need a course. There we go. Okay, so that's how you can actually set your you can create your own custom text field and uh, set a custom placeholder for your text field now our text uh, text in in the text field our text still being uh, typed in the default color so what we can do is uh, we can add the foreground color for these uh, text fields so let's match this by saying like you know color dot purple is going to be the foreground color for this guy uh, orange is going to be for this guy and uh, it's going to be pink one the third one okay so let me go ahead and run this and now our example is a little bit more complete uh where like you know you can set uh so your placeholder color is light purple and uh as you're typing you have like you know a purple color foreground for the text field and uh this one is gonna be orange and this one is going to be um uh, pink okay so as you can see uh, now you have your foreground color uh, changed as well as your placeholder color changed uh, to a custom color all right so with that we have reached the end of this video as well and uh, once again thanks for watching and i will see you guys in another video thank you